How do I change text on my premium press website? Well, let me show you how. If we take a look at one of our premium WordPress themes, we need to differentiate between menu text, system text, and template text. I know it sounds complicated, but it really isn't. Template text is any of the content you might have edited using Elementor, etc. Menu text refers to this menu section at the top. So this is all part of the WordPress menu. And finally, we have system text, which holds the majority of the text. So you've got like the home buttons at the top. If you click on my account, any of the system pages, you'll be able to edit using the system text option. Now I'll add links to videos to describe how to change menu text and the actual template text in the description below. In this video, we're gonna concentrate on editing system text. So the first thing we need to do is log into the admin error. We click on premium press, we click on plugins, and we go ahead and install the text and language plugin. So we're gonna be using local translate. So click install now and go ahead and install this. Now, once you've installed the plugin and activated it, you'll notice on the left hand side of the menu, a new option called local translate. So we can click that to view all of the options. Now, before you go any further, we need to configure local translate. So we click on settings, and the section at the top here where it says skip PHP files larger than 100K, let's just change this to 999 and actually another nine. So we need to allow files throughout the entire theme to be checked for translations. Now we can begin translating the text. Click on themes, select the theme you've got installed, and now you can see all the default translations for the Premium Press theme. So these are all the ones that come pre-installed with your Premium Press website. So as you can see, there are quite a few different translation options. Now, if you get to this point and you have a error at the top saying the text domain is invalid, all you need to do is click on advanced. And where it says text domain, make sure these two options here say premium press. So if for any reason this is blank, make sure it says premium press. Okay, let's go back. Now let's go ahead and start customizing our text. If I open a new window, and let's change this home button here to let's say home one, two, three, just as an example. So again, in the admin area, we click on the template we're gonna be using. And then we can either edit any of the existing files or we can go ahead and create our own. Now this step is very important. So please take note, when you create your own language file, it must be saved outside of the theme folder. Because what happens is WordPress, when it updates your theme or installs a new update for WordPress, it will remove all of the theme files and then install the new one. Which means if you've got a language file saved in that folder, it will be deleted. So what we need to do is save our language file outside of the theme folder. So let me show you how. When it comes to creating a new language file, we can either use the option here to create a new one or we can click on an existing language file and copy it. So for example, if you just wanted to make some changes to the German file, you would simply copy it and then you'll be able to create a new language file from here. And the setup is pretty much the same. Let me go ahead again, let me just show you. We want to change the home to one, two, three. So we're gonna create a new language file using the English language. So we click new, we select what we want, in this case, English. And when it comes to choosing where to save this file, we're gonna select either of the last two options. Do not select the first option. So in this case, I'm just gonna leave it into the local plugin options here and click start translation. And now we have all of the text within our premium press theme. And you can use this filter translation options to quickly find the text you're looking for. So in this, this case, again, we're gonna go home. So I'm just gonna type in home. As you can see the first one here, home, if I check that. Now to add a translation, all we do is enter the translation into the bottom section here. So I'm gonna go home, one, two, three, and give it a save. Now, if I go to my website and give it a refresh, you can see the text at the top has instantly changed to my new translated text. And this works for all of the system text for your premium press theme. So there we go, a very quick tutorial about changing text on your website. Remember, if you're looking to change the template text, the menus and category text, etc., I'll put links in the description below. Thanks again, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll continue creating content just like this. Bye for now and I'll see you in the next video.